and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to extrude morphs and how to subtract them. I the first thing I'm gonna do I guess I'm gonna make a section. Okay. Select the section, right click, open section. Uh, I am gonna draw a circle. Kind of big, okay, like this. Now select the circle, Ctrl Shift D, drag and press it in the same place. And now I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to make that again, so Ctrl Shift D. Okay, and I'm going to make another circle here. I need to draw a line from the middle of this circle okay I'm gonna drag it up to the bigger circle I have and now I'm gonna go to fill and I'm gonna make I'm gonna call the space bar to activate the magic wand and I'm gonna click why I'm doing this is because the morph ha is usually following Fill. It's easier for a morph to follow the fill. So I'm selecting the fill. I'm going to morph, and with the space bar pressed, activating the magic tool, click, and now I have a morph there. Great. Now I'm going to make a line that's red. So choose it and red from the middle to let's say bigger than a bigger circle and I'm, I'm going to select that line and what I'm going to do is with the line selected right click go to move hit multiply so what you need to choose is not choose drag choose a rotate distribute and I'm going to make 20 copies so 20 so rotate, distribute, and 20. And click OK. Oh, what I did there is I used the black one. Which I didn't want, but it's the same thing actually. OK. I'm going to make them red now. Great, I have a lot of lines. Now I'm going to make again a fill. Oh, I want to delete the fill that I have. So I'm going to fill here, Ctrl A, and I'm going to delete it because I want to see only the morph that I have there. I do have it, right? I do. I do have a morph. So go into section again. And I want to make a. And with the space bar again, click here, and I'm going to make it bigger than. The morph because these are going to make holes into it. So I'm going to drag it up a bit and I want to make it smaller on the size, sides so something like this. Now with this field selected go to morph, spacebar, press the spacebar and click. I need to go to the generic perspective now. Okay so I have these two pieces. When I'm going to the ground floor, you need to check is on the ground floor, second floor, or third floor. I'm gonna drag the section to center what I draw there. So I'm gonna drag it, I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay, go again to the generic perspective. I'm going to select the circle morph and holding shift as you can see this makes turns in blue so click and drag it and I'm going to make it 10 meters okay and the one okay I'm going to do the same thing so holding shift turns blue I'm going to drag it, I'm going to make it 
four meter, meters. Okay, now I'm turning a bit around. I want to move it from the edge. So click and drag it a bit on the inside, just a bit. Okay. And also, I'm zooming out a bit. I want to select this face down here holding shift. Make sure you're selecting a face and not an edge. And I'm going to drag it down a bit. I'm going to do the same thing here. Holding shift, dragging down a bit. It doesn't matter how much. Now, I'm going back to the building section. I'm gonna. I, I want to deselect the fill, so delete the fill. So, with this fill here, Control A, delete because I don't care about it. Now, with this more selected, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with these lines. So, select the more, right click, go to move, multiply, and I'm gonna keep the settings I did before. So, remember, rotate 20, distribute. Click OK. What I'm gonna do is I'm going I'm going from horizontal line to the next horizontal line here. So it's distributed correctly. And you see I have a piece I'm gonna delete. I don't need that. It's a spare piece. So we did this. Going to generic perspective. Now you can see all the morphs. I'm going to show you two ways to select something. So you can select everything with the mouse like this. And then you can deselect it holding shift and deselect holding shift and deselect this one and Ctrl Shift D, which I will do to drag a duplicate so, because I need two rows of the species with which are going to make holes into my morph. And I'm going to show you the other one. So Ctrl Z. I'm going to use this search engine. I would get had so control F which is find and select tool and well here at the element the first one you have you're gonna have only one the first time you open this so here the element is asking you element type and what I chose is morph okay so from all these elements I'm gonna choose morph because I want morph and you're gonna I'm gonna remove this so just show you so after this is the first one. So if you click on plus, it's gonna select all your morph. So and if you click on minus, it's gonna deselect it. And I'm gonna add another criteria. So add. The second criteria is gonna be our surface. So where is it? Oh, surface here. Now I want to show you something. I'm gonna select this one here, and I'm gonna activate the surface. I'm going to make it purple just to be easily shown. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to choose uh, the here at the surface. I'm going to choose the one we just put. So it's going to be paint ultramarine. But what I want to do is select everything but these morphs which has this material. So what I'm going to do here is where you, what it says is I'm going to Click on is not. So it's going to select everything but this. Click on plus. And as you see, everything, any other morphs are selected. Okay. So Ctrl Shift D to duplicate this. This is useful when you have lots of elements draw so you can't select each of these pieces 
Okay, now I'm gonna select. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to change everything into the same material. So select everything and click here. And I'm gonna make them wood or something like that. Green wood. Okay, and right click, Boolean operation, subtract, and you're gonna select the one you want to keep. So the blue one is the one we're gonna keep. There you go. You're having a piece with equal holes, symmetric. You can edit these holes also. So select this and you can drag. Thanks for watching and see you next time.